tutorial the waist is actually 30 inches that's my weight, round waist that's the part i want to cut the purple on the round part is 30 inches i'm going to add because of the zip i'm going to add two inches to it so at the end of the day i'm going to have 32 inches so that's 32 inches so since it is a free hand we are not doing any calculation we are just going to do it manually so this is my tape right now this is 32 inches on our tape we have added a zipper allowance to it. You are just going to take your tape like this and you fold it into four. You see it? We are folded into two. And then you are going to take it like this again. You fold it into four like this. You see it is folded into four. We have eight inches. But I want you to note, even though it is eight inches, we are not going to carry the eight inches like this and place it like this here. No, if you do it like this, even though it is divided into four, you are going to miss it. Here's what we are going to do. This 8 inches, you are still going to divide it into two, and then you have four inches. The essence of this four inches is for you to come to this triangle part of your pattern paper or your fabric, and then you place the four inches like this, just for you to get like a guide. So I'm going to make use of my my pencil first before I will highlight with my marker. So you mark four inches just for you to know where you are going to put your your waist measurement. This is four inches. I'm going to just keep marking the four inches. I'll mark it round like this. So we're using a free hand. This is four inches. So let me use a pen so before I transfer. So you mark it round like this. And then you are going to take your tape. You know what we actually, when you divided into four just now, we had eight inches. So we are going to measure this part to make sure it is 8 inches before you cut. If it is not 8 inches, you will not cut it. And even that 8 inches, we are not going to cut it directly 8 inches. We are going to still reduce it by 1 inches. 1 inch, rather, before I speak grammar. Okay, so I will take it like this and then I will place it around like this. I want to get seven, at least 7 inches. So you see that it is perfect. I got the 7 inches. Normally, it's supposed to be 8 inches, but since it is a free hand, because I don't want my peplum to be too big, I'm going to leave it at 7 inches. So this is 7 inches. So now I can I cannot mark it out properly with my with my marker for you to see. And then after marking it that way, we are going to measure the length of the peplum. So I'm just going to use what I have is 8 inches. So I'm going to, if you are measuring, make sure you add your folding allowance and then the stitching allowance. You can add one, one inch to it. So this is 8 inches. I'm just going to keep marking from this point like this. Now we just, I'll mark the 8 inches like this. And then I'm just going to keep, I'll just be rotating my, my paper like this. Take it like this again, you place it. You take it like this again now. So this is eight inches. So you see, I've added all of my so now we are going to cut and then check the waist to make sure that we have the teeth soon. So we have cut out that part. So this part we are going to cut. So for this free hand on, when you are cutting, you can decide not to cut directly on the line. You can decide to cut it a little bit above and then when you are done, you measure it if it is not up to. It's always better for you to trim it a little bit for you to get your accurate measurement than for you to cut it to be too big. Once it's too big, the only option you have is for you to bleach that peplum. It has gone to it has <laughs> it has changed from peplum to pe pleats. <laughs> you permit me to use that word. Okay, so I'm just going to cut on top like this. Okay, so I'm going to open it now. You see, you see how perfect the peplum is looking. I told you the truth is it will be perfect. 
So now we're going to measure this part to make sure we have 16 because half of 32 is 16 inches. You measure it to check. You take your tape like this and then you place it like this. So you see at the end of the day it is not exactly 16. We have 13 inches. So that's the free hand. That's the one that is on the free hand. So what we are going to do, you know I did not cut directly on the line. So now I'm going to cut directly on the line. The reason for doing that is just for you to be safe. So now we cut directly now. Okay, so now we're going to measure. I'm just going to take my tape like this. And then I'm going to check. Okay, so you see, you see it is 16, so we have gotten the, our waist and circumference, which is, which is 16. And that is just like the perfect cut for the place. So you see that the play is even standing, even though it is a free hand cut. So that, this is actually how you cut a free hand peplum 